what's up guys welcome back to my channel today my video is going to be about kind of like advice so last week i posted on my instagram for people to send questions like advice that you would want from me um so people did send some and some i just threw in there just that i saw that i thought was really good i was like on tiktok and saw a couple of questions i was like oh that would be like really good to answer so we're just gonna cut right into it and the first question is is it ever acceptable to cheat in a relationship if your partner has already cheated on you? Absolutely not. I do not believe that you should get your lick back. Just move forward. Just move forward. Either forgive them or just move forward because it's just two wrongs don't make a right, baby. Two wrongs do not make a right. So I would not do that if I were you. Just either forgive or move on. That's all I would do. The next question is how do you get over a heartbreak? boy can i tell you i'm still going through one right now and i'm still trying to move forward but what i've been doing basically is just spend time with yourself do not move on to another person because you are not going to heal sis you are not going to heal so just stay by yourself you can go out have fun you know go have some drinks with your friends you know go to the club do whatever you want you know just mind your own business it's cool to talk to people here and there but like don't get too involved just Focus on you, okay? Just focus on you because that's the only thing that's going to make anything better for yourself. Because you moving on to the next person, you're just bringing that trauma onto the next part. I'm trying to tell you right now. Who cares if that other person moved on to a, other, a whole other relationship? That's not you, baby. That's not you. You be you and let them be them. And that's that. Also, another thing is do not check their social media if you are trying to move on from them do not check their social media block them do whatever you got to do do not try and view their page do not try and view that other person's page no cut it like just focus on your social media and whatever you got on your page or if you have to unfollow their friends because they get posted on there and you'd be like oh my god like no don't focus on their social media anything even if you got to take a break from social media cool do that focus on yourself that's literally the key. Focus on yourself. All right. Here's a good question, actually, that somebody asked. They said, to keep a relationship strong, what weekly or monthly rituals must be engaged in? So to be honest, what mine would be is we need to go out on a date at least once a week or something. Like, we need to still have that connection. We need to go do things together. Um, sometimes spending, like, if you guys, like, aren't, like, years in or something like that, Sometimes it's good to not spend every single day together, honestly. Like, if y'all are just in the dating stage and, like, y'all aren't living together or anything like that, spend time away from them. You know, make them miss you. You know what I mean? Just so y'all can still have that connection together. It's good to talk every day, you know. Talk every day because that's just, that's just that, okay? If, you, if he's going one day without talking without you or she's going one day without talking without you, I just don't think that's healthy to me like not even like a hey how was your day like check on each other like it's always good to just check on each other but um definitely spend time with your friends don't forget about your friends that's one thing that i did before is i forgot about my friends or whatever but no make time with your friends go and hang out with your friends stay with him have him go out with his friends or he she whoever it is hang out with their friends and just keep it like that sometimes um you don't always need to be together um, another question was is it okay to jump into another relationship once you get out of one once you got out of one that's what i said the first time no i don't believe that you should because you really should just start loving yourself more because you probably start loving them more than you start loving yourself and then you completely just lost yourself and you feel like you're losing it you feel like you're at the end of your freaking world but you're really not you're not you're really just going through the motions honestly because you were in a whole routine of being with someone every day and you know going out with them having dinner with them and doing whatever you were with them basically like every day it was in your routine but well, now you gotta switch up your routine and there's nothing wrong with switching up your routine you might think you're at the end of your freaking world but you're really not you're really not you just need to go through the motions and you're going to be okay i literally promise you what lil uzi said i know it hurts sometimes you'll get over it I promise you will get over it and you will get the ick. I promise. <laughs> You're not going to care what they're doing or anything like that. I promise you that. The next question is, is age difference a significant concern in a relationship? So, my opinion, no. I date older people. I'm 24. Oldest I've dated is 34. 
just because you are dating somebody older does not mean that they are more mature okay just keep that in mind does not mean that they are more mature okay they can be they might treat you better because they've been around longer they know how to treat somebody but that is not always the case okay 2023 we are acting crazy out here that's all i know but no it's it honestly shouldn't really be a concern it's just any age can act any different way just because you're older doesn't make you mature but no so the next question is is physical appearance important in a relationship yes and no so my opinion on that is if you are with your man or you're with your girl and y'all are going out somewhere your physical appearance does matter because if you're looking you know a little ratchet you're not looking too good or whatever like you're just not really like dressed like you want to be out kind of thing that takes a toll on the person you're with because they can see who you are and that kind of presents who they are so if your significant other is not checking you on what you are wearing or if your shoes are dirty or anything there's a problem they don't love you <laughs> i'm just saying that's my opinion if they're out like if they're allowing you to go out and look crazy no they want i would see me i would want to be with my man that's presentable he's dressed nice you know got his his whole thing together that's what i would want you literally reflect me so but um, with me saying no to that, I believe as though like, you know, sometimes we just don't want to, you know, look all right, you know, want to go out dressed all good or whatever. It just shows that like we're not really trying to get at anybody else or impress anybody. But you should want to impress your significant other though. But if, you know, they know you're what you look like when you're not put together or what you are put together so that shouldn't even matter honestly but me my opinion is we represent each other let's make each other look right and let's um you know show people that we're popping that's how i look at that honestly okay this is like a really good question i've been put in this position multiple times it says what would you do if your partner became financially unstable okay if you are in it with this person and this is the person you want to be with and everything you better have their back if they don't have a penny to their name you are supposed to stand up and you are supposed to be with them okay they everybody has their moments of where they just lost it all or they gain it back they had everything and then they lose it all just because your other half does not have it all together in that one moment they will eventually you need to put them back on top okay it is your job to put them back on on top okay you need to be there by their side you need to feed them you know buy them new things if they need it like clothes or try and get them another job try and put them on top you know what i mean need to build each other up regardless because it needs to be reciprocated though like if your man is down or whatever it's your job to bring them back up too if you're down your man needs to bring you back up too that's how you know it's real for real like if you're not in it you're just like oh you're a bomb you're this you're that you do not need to be together i'm sorry because if y'all are married for 10 years whatever amount of time y'all lost your house or whatever what are you gonna do just complain at each other argue all the time you know you gotta build each other up you gotta look good you gotta build each other up okay you need to have their back regardless okay if you're gonna be with them you need to have their back regardless okay this is like a very good question this is a really good question it says if your best friend cheated on their partner would you tell them so would you tell your best friend's partner absolutely not absolutely not if that is my best friend i will tell her myself if i if i know their relationship and i'm all about the relationship i will check my best friend on the side okay i will check them if they tell me about whatever i will check them no i do not need to go run to their girl their man or whatever to tell them what they have done no check your best friend on the side do not run to their man do not get yourself involved in that whole thing that will cause things between your best friend and their man girl whatever 
check your best friend on the side do not make them look stupid in public don't do that no absolutely not do not do that because that would just cause too much i feel like because i know i would have a problem with that i know damn well i would but you know don't don't be cheating anyway don't be cheating anyway that's not okay that is not okay so do right do right by everybody another question can relationships survive without trust honestly no it cannot because if you guys are going to continue on in a relationship it's literally going to be a back and forth thing arguing whenever your man or your girl is out with their friends or whatever you're always going to accuse them of doing things you're always going to be in your head like oh my gosh they're definitely doing me wrong they're definitely doing this they're definitely doing that you need to have their trust if you do not just dip out of the relationship honestly because it's just going to be going back and forth back and forth if you really are willing to make it work and try and trust them and try and forget about whatever you guys went through or whatever your past trauma is or whatever go for it you know you could try and fix the trust you can there's there, nothing's impossible okay nothing's impossible try and work on that trust because if you don't good luck that's all i'm gonna say you guys are going to be arguing no matter where you're at i'm telling you now it's going to be bad and it's going to be rough and it's going to put a lot of pain on your heart and your mind okay you're gonna go crazy another question can past relationships affect your present relationship absolutely it absolutely can on certain ways this is what i'm saying like do not hop from relationship to relationship because you will bring bring your past trauma in okay you don't want to do that that's going to cause arguments and everything and whoever knows whatever that can lead to after that so just make sure you're right before you get into another relationship make sure you're right in the head make sure you know you are ready for this make sure that you love yourself before you go and love another person i'm trying to tell you that if that one person did not do you wrong then just don't even question it but if you do see certain scenarios that you have seen before you can question it that's usually what i do and it's not that good honestly but don't ignore the red flags do not ignore the red flags i'm trying to tell you that now don't if you feel it you know it okay all right another one is um can a relationship survive without good communication no it cannot because it like if you're not answering the phone and i don't know what you're doing my mind's gonna start to run and i don't like that me i'm a very anxious person like if you're gonna deal with me i'm a very anxious person i need to know a lot i don't need to know everything i need to know the basics okay if you're not gonna tell me oh you know i'm going downtown da -da -da -da, or i'm going here or whatever great i need that and text me during too contact me during it's all about that but i did read this one thing it was on tiktok I, it was just the best thing i've ever read so the quote is communication isn't key comprehension is you can communicate all you want but if they don't understand it's silent chaos so basically like communicating and comprehension you need to understand comprehension is you need to understand where they are coming from they can communicate it but do you understand it you need to be able to understand communicate but understand that's what i got from that i hope i read that right it didn't really sound right but basically it's saying comprehension is over communication because you need to understand you need to understand should you offer to pay 50 percent off the bill on the first date with someone okay it depends if that person wanted to take you out then no I don't think you need to but you know if it was reverse and you offer them I don't think either one should even offer it I feel like it's all about who decided to take you out first you know what I mean like if a guy is like oh let me take you out I don't think you need to offer you know what I mean so I mean yeah no you don't you don't need to offer just let it go just let let's go with the flow this is a question that i would ask myself every single day okay it says how do you get rid of your anxiety Woo! 
this is one I struggle with and I know a lot of people out there struggle with this I get anxiety literally anytime throughout the day my mind is going my heart is racing I have trouble sleeping sometimes but when I wake up in the morning I'm up so once I wake up in the morning and the light like the sun is out I'm up okay I try and go back to sleep and take a nap but it takes a little bit out of me like I just really need to try but what I do is to help like with my anxiety is I just start to clean I just start cleaning things clean my room go clean something clean the bathroom uh organize something it kind of takes your mind off things or like you're just doing things where you don't think about it or you're doing things aware you're talking it through your mind as you're doing something um sometimes being occupied like just occupying yourself go out with your friends you know go get dinner go do something um that makes you happy honestly uh that really really helps but another thing that really helps is talking about it talking about what's on your mind talking about why you're having like these freaking out moments in your mind and your body is just like oh you just want to scream sometimes talking about it really helps like some of my friends that know me know that I'm very antsy I'm very antsy if they're with me and I'm in the car and I'm driving or like we're just somewhere I'm literally going 100 miles per hour and I cannot stop I can't stop I do one thing I have to do another and I also have really bad ADHD and everything like I I'm bad I'm really bad so like I'm very antsy all the time when I'm around people so it's like I just run I just say whatever comes to mind I just say I say I say but I do that around people like my friends I just do that I don't do around like new people around me because like they're like oh my god she's crazy but sometimes just letting things out make you feel better I'm trying to tell you right now do not keep it in just talk to someone that you trust you don't need to go to therapy a lot of people recommend therapy and everything like that I've never been to therapy so I can't really speak on that but the closest people around you that you can trust just talk to them um you know give it a shot even if you don't know if they're gonna like react right uh if you don't like that don't go to them again just you know just try and find somebody to talk to about how you're feeling just all your emotions just try and get it out there honestly that's what helps me a lot sleeping isn't gonna fix everything i understand going to sleep and you know you forget about the world but baby them dreams you'll be dreaming about things you don't want to dream about honestly like i'll go to sleep i'll take a nap trying to forget about things something pops up in my dream that I don't want to see and then I get wake up and I'm mad and I'm upset now I don't want to go back to sleep so now I'm up but yes definitely talking to somebody would definitely help this question kind of runs into my explanation of the last one that I had it says what advice would you give to someone struggling with mental health and mine would really be to talk to somebody don't stress yourself out don't be in your head so much try and let it out you know go find something that you like to do get your mind off of things or this is really harsh but you need to feel your emotions you know what i mean like we were just talking about relationships before and when people get out of relationships they just feel like terrible they feel horrible it's good to feel your emotions and you help learn from that you start to learn yourself more and how you can overcome that and you know be better be a better you what i i tend to do is just like make a goal for yourself every day like on my youtube channel like every day i'm trying to promote myself i'm trying to get it out there i, I know i don't have that many followers right now i have what 20 24 right now every day at least gained one and that to me i'm doing better than yesterday start focusing on yourself and try and do better but if it, everything is really bothering you please talk to somebody anybody that you think that you can trust talk to somebody don't struggle don't struggle it's okay to struggle because you learn from that but please talk to somebody that's all let it out don't keep it in that's what it is so that's honestly the best thing that i would do but uh yeah that wraps up my video okay i kind of hope some of my answers help people i don't know but i hope and i hope i didn't get really bad where everybody's like oh my god no i don't agree with that but i don't think anybody's gonna agree with everybody so you know agree to disagree but that's my mindset on everything so thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe baby we successful are here like comment and subscribe